Hello friends, it's Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. How you doing today? Welcome to my channel. I'm here to share uh, this journal with you. It's a little golden book. Christmas, uh, the Jingle Bell book. And uh, so I've got, uh, been working on the cover and the pages. I don't know if the cover's done, but here's where it's at right now. Uh, it's, you know, this was the original cover. I did put some fabric on the spine, made a new spine, you know, bigger spine. And here's the back so far. So I've got eyelets here. I'm going to put, I've got one tie here. I'm debating on whether I'm going to use these red ties or some fabric. Or this is actually kind of a ruffly ribbon. But uh, yeah, I think it's looking pretty cute. I did put a little collage right here, or a cluster, to cover up uh, something that was there. It's got some fabric and snowflake and a little special handling label. So, uh, as far as the pages so far, I haven't put any pockets in here yet. I don't know if I will, but uh, the pages, I've got two signatures, and I think I might be done with uh, the actual paper pages, but now I'm going to do the sewing and, you know, uh, kind of decorating the pages, and then I'll do the ephemera and sew these in. So, you know, hopefully get done with this in the next couple of days, or by the end of the week anyway. But let me just show you where I'm at with, let me put the signature over here for a second so I can lay this kind of flat. But I've got a cover for the first page of the first signature. This is actually a cover from the uh, cookie Christmas cookie uh, cookbook that I've been using. So I thought that was pretty, folded in half and used, you know, gives you a nice sturdy uh, first kind of cover of your signature. So that's that. I don't know if I'll do something to the back. I probably will, but it, it does have a bit of distressed, natural distressed aging on it. Then I've got some craft card stock here. This is a page from an Ideals magazine, and this is from a planner. A This is cr my cranberry paper. It's a writ dyed book page. Really pretty. And this is coffee dyed paper and some music paper. The uh, Christmas card stock or scrapbook paper that I've been using in my journals this year. I've got a pocket here and it's uh, you know the same as the others. I've been using uh, green dye on the back but it's sprayed. Kind of spritzed sprayed on the back. So this is another, I think this is another ideals page here. Ideals Magazine, and then some lined writ dyed paper. This is a an envelope, actually it's a copy of an envelope that I, I think I made a copy of this envelope, actually. And here's like the one side, I kind of shrank it down. This is inter-office delivery here. And it is coffee dyed, it's coffee dyed and it's on an envelope. Okay, so, so you can see the envelope here but I cut this piece out kind of to just to use it and have fun with it and do something different so on that side you can see it's got the inter department delivery envelope and then this side is blank and then here I have I pulled out my December pages from one of my Edith Holden books so here's one of the pages right here and it does say December right there this is a uh, tracing paper graph paper coffee dyed you know and then this is some writ dyed paper, uh, children's dictionary, lined uh, coffee dyed paper, like this is composition book paper. This is uh, actually a cute little book, which I'll show you when I finish this. I don't have it here right now, but uh, this is a cute little children's magazine that I have. I think it was called Cricket. Is that right? That's why it has a little cricket down here. <laughs> the Cricket magazine. And this was a pretty, it's the December issue from this year, which I can all show. Is this the, let me see if this is, let me see if this is the copyright page here. This is 1972. And I just thought it was so pretty with this red trim here. And, you know, all the red accents probably, probably for December, since it was the December issue. So that's there as the next page. And then this I thought was really fun. I pulled this out of that recipe book I just showed in my last Thrifted Treasures video. And it had these file folders in there. So 
when it was in the recipe book, it had holes and it was it's a that was a binder. So I had to cut the holes off to be able to fit it in here. So I had to cut this down a little bit. But it was like this in the recipe book. And I decided since I was putting it in here, I would kind of turn it the opposite way and make this the center page for the signature. And so the pockets are here, and you've got this pretty, you know, uh, little picture here from the from the cookbook. So that's that, and then so this is the back half, you know, that first signature, all the same papers there. And so the next one, the next signature is right here. And for this cover right now, I have the cover of the Good House Housekeeping magazine, a Christmas picture. So really cute, the cover, you know, it's thicker than the rest of the regular magazine pages. And then we've got the some of the same types of paper, but different, especially at, you know, the magazine pages. But this is that craft card stock. And then this is a page from an Ideals magazine. The planner, the writ dyed paper, coffee uh, stain paper, uh, piano coffee dyed. You know, paper. This is the cardstock I've been using with the green spritz on the back. Cookie cookbook and writ dyed. And this is a calendar piece right here. And then graph writ dyed. And let's see what this is. This is the children's dictionary, I believe. And then this is the Edith Holden and coffee dyed line paper, which is you know, uh, from a composition book. This is from the children's magazine right here. This little smaller one. And then this is the center folder again with one of those folders from the, uh, you know, cookbook. And in, in each folder, I already tucked in two pages. So this, let me show you the first one. This uh, little magazine is so cute. And it had this poem in there, like a Christmas poem by Robert Frost. I mean, isn't that neat? And so I really didn't want to cut this up or anything to use it for a page or I didn't want to fold it in half so you couldn't really see it. So I put that as ephemera right here in the first signature that's in that pocket. And then I did the same thing in this signature with another page that was really super cute. So this is the other page right here. And this is a thing that I liked right here. It's a poem, Snow Feathers, by Charlotte McLeod, and you've got this, you know, it looks like Mother Goose riding a goose or something, I don't know, but it's, and she looks like, well, she's got hands, so she's not an angel, but just looks really cute, and then you've got the little critters from the magazine down here, uh, looks like they're talking, <laughs> super cute, a little ladybug, uh, the cricket from the cricket magazine, here's a little bug here, maybe a ladybug and a snail. So super cute and then you've got the little poem there. It's a bit, so it starts out grandma, I said, and so somebody's talking to their grandma there so that was, I didn't want to cut that up or have it where you couldn't see it so I put it also in the second signature in the middle, in the center pocket there so coming along nicely. I, uh, Wish I wasn't getting tired right now or I'd do some more work on it tonight, but I will work on it some more tomorrow, hopefully, and it will be done soon, but it's coming out super cute, and I can't wait to just do some more to it. So thanks for watching today, and I will see you next time. Happy crafting!